Hey, welcome back. Today is Sunday. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, so, this video is going to be a little different. It's just going to be a sit down video. Well, all my videos are a little sit down videos almost. But it's just going to be a little update on what's going on and what's coming to you next. One, I'm excited. Tuesday, I should get my box that I've been waiting for. It hasn't been that long. I can't say it's been a long time. I really haven't been waiting that long. So, I'm excited. And, of course, I'm going to make a video about it. A hint. I'll give you a hint. One hint. Sezzy from Sarah's Day uses this. My hint to you. So, this video is going to, like I said, it's going to be a little update. And if you haven't, this is your first video. Um, I am currently in the process of losing weight and I was trying the v being vegan because I just felt that was right. I just felt that it would help me out better. I see all these people with the same problems I have and doing vegan and it helps them out so much. Well, here in the past month, I've been getting dizzy, disoriented. My body's been telling me I need something but I couldn't figure it out. So I was trying to see how much protein I was taking and see how much, you know, other vitamins I was taking in. And I was taking in the right amounts, but I was still feeling that. Well, I started eating meat again and dairy. And I bloated back up and I just feel ugh. Ugh. So um right now I'm just gonna do it be meatless every other day or just actually really listen to my body because you know it was really bad my hair is was like really falling out like it was clunk it was in clunks it was and I've always had thick thick hair and I mean it was coming out in clunks and it scared the mess out of me so I am no longer vegan but I still have the earth box which is vegan and I'm still going to try to eat meals vegan I'm just going to listen to my body like Sezzy from Sarah's Day and try to figure out what I would like that way. Um, so if I don't eat meat for a week, it's not because I'm trying to do a diet or anything. I'm just, I just don't want it. And that's been me. I've, sometimes I don't want to eat meat. I've always wanted to eat vegetables and fruit. Fruits mainly because that's my favorite thing ever is fruits. But so um I, this is a lifestyle from south mississippi um i don't know how many people from south mississippi have youtube but you know anyways um also i was going to let you guys know who i follow on youtube which i have done in the past um through my channel through my videos uh who i follow of course i follow sezzy from sarah's day um she is fitness, lifestyle, um, health. Uh, naturally, Stephanie, who is a vegan lift, uh, weightlifter. Supreme Banana, who's vegan. Ra Ravana, who's vegan, is of course a vegan zombie. Um, I still follow them, and Sam. I follow Sam too. Those are all vegan. Except for Sarah, she's not vegan. She was vegan at one time, but she came. She went back to eating meat. But um, I still watch all of them. They have great pointers, and you know they're good detail. They're funny, um, especially Stephanie. Very funny. Um, some of my Instagram. I have more people, I get on Instagram more than I do Snapchat. Snapchat I'm not very big of, but in Snapchat, of course I have friends. Uh, Dakota Harvey is a good person to follow. And a guy named Nicholas, he, he does lift, weightlifting. I don't personally know him, he's somewhere. He was like this guy who was kind of small and I think he got bullied or picked on or something. And then all of a sudden he became this hot, I think he was cute beforehand too, but you know, but he became a weightlifter. And on Snapchat I also follow Cole Freeman and Kramer Robertson, who are LSU 
former LSU baseball players and they're hilarious. Like, you just sit back and watch them, you're like, dang. <laughs> Anyways, um, my Instagram, of course, I have, I follow more. To me, I just like Instagram better. Of course, I follow the SEC network, because anybody who knows me loves, knows I love LSU, which there's another one I follow. I follow all the LSU sites, well, almost all of them, I guess, but there's probably a lot more out there. I don't know. Um, I do follow, you know, football players and baseball players, former and now. Um, of course, the NFL, and then, of course, Major League Baseball, and then, you know, basketball. Um, just I follow a couple of players here and there. Just ones that I like to watch, I'll follow. Um, of course, I follow Dakota Harvey again on Instagram as well. Um, of course, my Saints. Of course, friends and Ariana Grande. If you don't follow Ariana Grande... Something's really wrong with you. And then Sarah's Day. And naturally Stephanie. Um, just, those are just a couple that I follow. I mean, you can always go to my Instagram and check out who I follow. Um, I just, and a good thing about some of these guys, like, that are... No, they're in the spotlight like Cole Freeman. Cole Freeman is the founder of Heart Has No Limit. Um, if you've never heard of it, go to the Heart Has No Limit. Google it. Uh, there's t-shirts. I have three or four t-shirts. I have bracelets. I have something else, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a great thing that he does. And he'll actually message you back. So... I mean, that's something most people don't do. Um, some of the Saints football players will message you. Um, and actually, I didn't even message one of them. I just put a status about him. <laughs> and he commented on there. So, <laughs> my bad. Well, not my bad because I was just saying that he was main candy. Okay. So, um, you can check it out. Of course, um, I, do leave, I will leave my Instagram on the bottom. And um, that's about it for this one. I just can't wait till my box gets here so I can show y'all my box. What's in it? It's awesome. And, of course, I still need to do... My thing is, I forget to film when I'm cooking. And then I'm too shy to do it in the gym. So I am got to break the shyness and I've got to remember my camera for everything. So this is what, this is my question to you though. Do you, what would you rather, home workouts or gym workouts? Which one do you think is better? Okay, you go to the gym, it's kind of intimidating, but they have everything there. Treadmills, ellipticals every kind of machine you can think of, weights, um, at home, I mean, you can buy weights, you can buy a treadmill, I think you can buy elliptical, I'm not sure, you can, um, I mean, you can walk around, you can do sit-ups and crunches and all the basic stuff, you can do weights, you can buy weights and stuff, but which one is better? That's my question to you. And whichever one y'all choose, I will stick with. And then that way I will be able to see what y'all like and what I need to do. So, if you haven't subscribed to my page, please do so. And give it a thumbs up. And I will see y'all on Tuesday, hopefully. Because I will get my package then. And then we're going to have to try what I bought. Until then, I hope y'all have a great day.